Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Bulldogs and the Rebels are both on the field as we take a live look at what's going on as Mississippi State and Ole Miss get set to square off in the Egg Bowl. Why the Egg Bowl? Simple. Trophy looks like an egg. Somebody's going to have their hearts broken today. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. trophy given to the winner of the game referred to as the Egg Bowl. It's time for the coin toss now. Presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste. Zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up and we're ready to get this thing started. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. He has some room. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Bradley gains around six yards on the option play right there. Under heavy pressure. And they got him. And for Hines, he's having a good year. Five sacks on the season now. Now he tries to buy some time. And he hits him hard at the 43. That's such a huge letdown. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Another run. Tackled after a decent pickup. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. There's a strike complete. Again on fourth down. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. run there huge play and it's going to be first and goal very well designed play that time and they got to him before he could get back to the line now he's scrambling he's under some heat throws into coverage just picked off that's a great tackle at the eight-yard line. We've got a safety. What an effort by the defense, and they move ahead. And he's taken down at the 45. He's at the 40. And they make the stop around the 32. the ball fumble the offense falls on it out of bounds at the 24 yard line gets it out quickly and down he goes at about the three and he's tackled at the two Touchdown, Rebels! Let's go! Red 68! Red! And they'll bring him down behind the line. The offensive line needs to do a better job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He 
He's tackled at the 30. Quick pass. They'll bring him down right around the 30. And the screen pass goes nowhere. He's taken down around the 43-yard line. Scrambling around, and they got him. And for Glover, that's his fifth sack of the season. He's on the run. Room around the corner. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. Let's it go. Brought down at about the 21. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. It's a bad play overall by the offense. He's scrambling. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Touchdown, Old Miss! Think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Tackle made at the 27. Goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Tackle around the 35-yard line. Pressure coming, and he's level at the 25-yard line. He scrambled. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. That's a gain of 11. Quick throw, and they make the stop at the 22. Good outside run there. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Touchdown, Mississippi. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Fires out to his wideout, and he's hit immediately. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. Down he goes at the 38. Mississippi State will take their second time out. And he's tackled at the 30 yard line. Under heavy pressure. Slings it, and he tackles him hard at the two yard line. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. We played a half of football. Ole Miss leads 23-3. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports Halftime Show. Alongside David Pollock, I'm merely Reese Davis. David, let's take a look at some of the highlights from a very solid first half of football. Three solid was the word, definitely. Great first half, great intensity from both teams. Both teams came out, executed really, really well. Both are happy sitting in the locker room with a chance to come out, put a statement on the second half, and try to win this ball game. All right, what's the most important thing when you try to make that early statement in the second half? You to come out with energy, come out with passion, make sure that you're trying to execute, take care of the football, and make sure that you can find ways to make plays. And, and whoever usually makes the most mistakes is the team that's going to lose. Try to avoid that big mistake early as we get set to start the second half. 
Mississippi State find themselves with an obstacle to clear in the second half. They need something to go in their favor, a spark to kind of generate a little enthusiasm and some energy. Brad and Kirk are ready to go. I think Brad's tie and pocket square in exquisite condition, so they're ready for kickoff. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 28. Looks over the middle, and it's picked off. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. Great catch by the linebacker. Nice run there. Wheeler gains around six yards on the run. Nice run up the middle. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good. Ball's back as he throws and almost paid for it with a pick. That was a nice play. He makes his way out to about the 12. So he turns the counter into a nine-yard gain. They keep it on the ground and a great tackle right there. He's going to try and scramble. Under heavy pressure. Out of bounds at the 13. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Gets it out quickly. They'll bring him down to the 38-yard line. Grabs it and hammered right there. Uh, alert, alert. Lion, lion. He sails it long. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Garcia picks up around five yards with that catch. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. There he goes. He's at midfield. Tackle made around the 38-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Offense. He's under pressure. He's rolling right. He's out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Tackle at the 43-yard line. Now he's scrambling. Brought down at the 48-yard line. Shot, the defender tips it away. His receiver didn't have much of a chance to make a play on the tackle outside after a nice pickup. Fires quickly to the tight end, and he's taken down at the 30. A nice completion to the tight end. Tackle after positive yardage. That's good for a game. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. It's up, and it's good. Man, that's trash. That's trash. No, 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 check that. Check that. We're going to Mike Kirk. Ready. Quick out 
to his receiver. And he's tackled at the 27. Scrambling around. And they make the stop at the 40-yard line. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. And down he goes at the 40. Throws it. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. He's under pressure. And they got him. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. He heaves it deep. And it's picked off. He's tackled at the 38. He makes his way to about the 48. The tailback gets 10 yards after taking the pitch on the option. Now he tries to buy some time. Darts it to the left. They'll bring him down around the 26-yard line. Inside the 10, he's knocked out of bounds. I got you. Touchdown, Rebels. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Ready, red 18. Red 18. Pass is caught, the defense lays him out. And he just gets rid of it. Big opening. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. They shredded the defense with the option run there. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Fires out to his wideout, and he's level at the 17. There's a strike complete. Knocked out of bounds right around the two-yard line. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start. Offense. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. When it rains, it pours. He's under pressure. There's a strike complete. He's down. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. Gets out to about the 28-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. Gains his way to midfield. He fights forward to about the 49. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Brooks runs a counter. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but it's a blowout. Well, some backups got some playing time today, that's for sure. It's final. 
Ole Miss, 33. Mississippi State, 3. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Well, this rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment on the other. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this date marked in red on their calendar for next year. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.